Well, let, let's take a look. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I got a little dirt in one of the motors. So that'll have to be cleaned out. Other than that, it didn't do too bad. Uh, I only broke one landing gear. I'll reprint my landing gear real quick and I'll clean out that motor. So not only did I not in there, I, I flew a little bit longer and it went into the driveway. If you want to check that out, obviously link in the description and you can find it on the channel. But I worked on the drone a bit more and I couldn't leave well enough alone. It was time for a remodel. So that's what you have here on the table is a remodel of what I had originally built. This is me disassembling the original drone, saving the parts that I wanted to reuse, such as the things that go around the motors, the motor clamps, I'll call them, uh, and obviously all the electronics but not only was it time for an upgrade but i also it was time to upgrade the flight system this one didn't have one this was just a fly by wire i was trying to control it with the controller but it was time to add a flight controller to this entire thing and see how it did so with everything disassembled, let's talk about what I actually changed here. Like I said, I didn't keep a whole lot. I only kept pretty much the motor clamps uh, and the landing gear. From there, I decided it was time to make it a bit bigger. I thought distributing the distance between the motors, making the motors further apart would actually give me a bit more stability. So I pulled them apart. So you'll see some longer structural pieces here that keep the motors apart. You'll see I have this new center piece that is actually going to hold the flight controller uh, but along with that it also gives me more room for batteries it gives me more room for wiring all the electronics now can be spaced apart accordingly so I'm gonna do all the assembly here and you're gonna see how I thought I really wanted this to work it, it pretty much was in line with the original design I was trying to balance everything out and make sure that you know even though it's gonna have a flight controller you still want a very balanced drone so you'll notice that you know I have one battery on each side this is going to be a two battery unit given the amount of battery that each of these motors takes and the flight controller of course needs to be in the center of the entire thing because it has a lot of instrumentation on board that control the balancing of it they keep each of the motors trying to make sure that we're running level and so that's why you'll see the flight controller in the middle uh with me balancing all of these motor controllers to each of the arms so let's finish up the construction here and we will get going on the actual flight and setup of the the new assembly i will make one more note on the printing and assembly of this as you watch me finish putting this together. I did end up printing this entire thing out of ASA plastic as opposed to PLA. Reason for that is purely durability and rigidity. While there are some great PLA pluses on the market, ASA ABS plastics are known for their durability and rigidity. This frame of this quadcopter drone, whatever you want to call it, is going to have a lot of stresses under it. I wanted to make sure it would last as long as possible. So I did go to ASA here. A lot of the printers I have have no problem whatsoever printing on you know, printing ASA material or ABS material, as long as you can keep a good adherence to the bed and these really thin materials, I'm not giving a lot of time for them to actually pill up. So printed this on some of the larger printers that can print them. No enclosure here, but uh, again, Polymaker ASA, those all bought myself, not sponsored in this video. But you know who is sponsoring this video? PCB Way. So let me tell you why PCB Way is a company that I continue to go back to for sponsorships of these videos. You can see that they have a ton of services that you can order parts from. You can get PCB prototyping assembly. You can do CNC. You can do 3D printing. You can do metal 3D printing. They have every service that you can imagine for producing whatever you want to design and build and a fantastic community section. Let me show you what that looks like. So if you head over to the PCB Way Plus side of things, you will find a ton of shared projects from people just like you, from makers just like you that want to share what they're working on. Say you didn't know what you wanted to build, head over to PCB Way, take a look at all of these cool pre-designed PCBs things that you can have them do the actual manufacturing or 3D printing of the parts if you don't have the materials there to do these yourself. You see right here where I actually put my Iron Man repulsors that I metal 3D printed through PCB Way right here on this website where you can come here, you can download the models if you wanna print it yourself or you can metal 3D print them just like I did through PCB Way. They support a lot of fantastic YouTube channels 
just like this one. Thank you to PCBWay for their support. Details in the description if you're looking to make your own projects or if you are just looking for your next project and want to take a look at what other makers are working on. Now back to this build. All right, it is done and all ready to fly, I believe. Uh, but that's what I'm going to find out right here on the bench before I go anywhere. So. This isn't crazy. I'm not actually going to try to take off. I'm even not even going to give it uh, any throttle. I just want to see if the motors are turning and if they're turning in the right direction. So I'm cleaning up the stuff that's definitely going to fly away and we're going to test this out. I'm actually going to try it out upside down because that has seemed to work just great in the past. So let's give this a shot. Let's make sure nothing blows up. All right. All right, fantastic. All right, let's turn this on. There we go. Fantastic. All right, let's give this a shot. We get a little bit before the rest of them, but I do have throttle. I definitely think I need to do an adjustment here on this one because this one is definitely powering up before the rest of them. So I'll need to figure out what channel is that on. Uh, go ahead and adjust that one. And then even though it is dark, I'm probably going to go to my deck and give this a shot because I'm impatient and I want to see if even with all the new upgrades, if there's enough thrust here to lift it up. I don't think there'll be a problem. It's mainly just plastic. Um, and then it'll be at some point, I will test these out to see if there's enough thrust to lift up the big batteries, which will give us some serious flight time. Uh, I'm guessing they're, they're, is it like a third more flight time than these guys? So, uh, let me get this one adjusted uh, so that it starts up with the rest of them. I can do that in the controller and uh, we'll see if it lifts up. All right, it is late. You are getting late night lighting. This is all I got. I'm not moving lighting out here, but I think you'll be able to see enough of what's going on if this thing flips. If it goes crazy, there'll be enough lighting to, uh, to see that and I'll fix it in post. Anyway. Okay, it started to get lift and the batteries died. So all I learned is that I did not charge these batteries and they've sat too long. Uh, I'm gonna go get another set of batteries and we're gonna gun it real quick and see if it uh, gives me a little bit more hope. <laughs> Cause those died really fast. All right, flight test number two, new batteries. Um, probably still not fully charged. So let's hope for the best. Holy crap, that was so much better than the original one. That actually lifted up and didn't flip over. All right, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> oh man, that's fantastic. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, so this one is definitely more stable, flies better than the original one. Um, this is this is definitely a lot better. Um, really happy it's wet out here, so now things are getting wet. But that's okay, these are just straps and batteries. We're fine, we're fine. Um, really happy how balanced this one is. So that was a fantastic cover. Definitely more stable than the old one. I'm happy with the footprint of this one. Um, this is this is what we're going for. So uh, now I'm going to 
do my best to learn flight computers. Uh, I'm gonna start with an off the shelf one that I've bought. Uh, it's gonna be what I um, get it going with and then I will worry about actually um, writing my own flight software. Uh, but we'll do that in the future. Uh, one step at a time, like I said, the way you learn these things is by just digging into it. Stay safe, make sure that you're not sticking your fingers or can stick your fingers in anything dangerous. If you break things, make it 3D printable so you can fix it. Um, I guess, hopefully see you tomorrow um, if I get this flight computer installed. I've already built the mount for it, so uh, replace the receiver with a flight computer and a receiver. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of setup, a little bit of soldering, uh, to get everything connectable easily. Anyway, uh, let's get going. One piece, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> 